Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm starting with freshly washed hair and girl, look at my hair. The heat damage is real. So I'm just spraying my hair with heat protector and just massaging it into my hair. And then next you want to part your hair into little sections just so it's easy when you try and blow dry your hair. So when you're blow drying your hair, you want to make sure that your hair is slightly damp. So you can see me using my spray bottle and massaging some water in. I use a Denman brush to help me blow dry my hair and I just clip all my hair around it out of the way and I use a nozzle to help direct the heat onto my hair and making sure that I try and get it as sleek as possible. Next, you'll see me using a round brush so I can blow out my roots and making sure that my roots are straight. The blow dry process is the most important part of your silk press. So make sure you try your best to get your hair as straight as possible and not forgetting your roots. Once you've completed the first section, you want to clip it out of the way and move on to your next section, making sure you take your time, focus on your roots and making sure that your hair is as sleek as possible. So this is just me looking at my hair and where I'm likely going to cut all of that heat damage. Word of advice, do not silk press your hair when going to a hot country. The humidity will frizz your hair out and you'll end up pressing your hair every day like I did, like an idiot, and frying your hair and ending up with heat damage. So don't do what I did. So for my silk press, I'm using two products. I'm using the Dream Coat by Color Wow. It helps with humidity. And then also Chai Silk Infusion. And I'm using the smallest amount. I know you guys remember the last video I used quite a bit, but I'm using the smallest amount of this serum to help enable that silky silk press. Going in with a small section of your hair, you want to have your hair straightness to a comfortable heat that you're happy with. And I use the chase method using my rat tail comb and I'm just straightening from the roots all the way to my ends and I just do two passes, no more than that. As you can see, this section is quite large and I wish I had gone back and made it smaller, but unfortunately I wasn't able to see what I was doing properly. However, this section is suitable. As you can see, my results were still good, but you can also divide this section in two just to get you that sleeker finish. Please do not go over your hair so fast. You need to allow the heat to penetrate through the strands. So take your time and slowly glide down following your comb to ensure that you have a sleek finish. Okay. 
Another tip I have for you guys is to first shampoo your hair with a clarifying shampoo, then use a moisturizing shampoo and a conditioner and make sure you spend at least a good five to 10 minutes rinsing your hair out with cool water and ensuring that there's no conditioner left in your hair. If your hair still has product in it, it will weigh your hair down and that's not what we want for this silk press. So just a reminder, be sure to rinse out all products from your hair. you want from love anymore i pray for something i'm missing and disappear when i'm bored but girl what qualities was i looking for before who you settling for what better for you than the boy I so as you can see from the results of my hair, you know I need a trim. So don't worry too much if you can't see as much movement as you expected. Once you give yourself a nice cut or a trim, you'll see the flow of your hair will be perfect. As I get closer to the front of my hair, I take smaller sections ensuring that I get my hair sleek because this front section is what people are gonna see. So make sure you take your time in this section and don't do too many passes because you don't want heat damage. So my mum is back again, she's here to help me with my hair and she cuts my hair, she's the only person that cuts my hair. Um, I will get my hair done professionally very soon and um, so in these clips you're just going to see her giving me a cut. I wanted to go shorter but she said no. 
and um, when you cut your hair you'll see that your hair has better movement because that's the healthiest part of your hair when you know you see that good movement that's what you need the straggly bits you see my ends yeah that's not cute had to go and I had to you know get rid of that heat damage because it wasn't looking good so I would advise you to trim your hair often because it also helps with hair growth as well So this is the final result once my hair is cut my hair looks very healthy um, as you can see you still have some heat damage good movement I didn't cut any layers into my hair and um, I also didn't choose to curl it or you know bump the ends um, I was going straight to sleep after this video so I made sure that I just wrapped it round with some cling film if you watched the last video you guys will know how funny this was last time um, I'm gonna put a little card up there so you can watch it. So I'm just wrapping my hair in cling film I don't know what the reason why you have to do this. I just do it because the girls say you have to do it um, I think it's something to do with moisture and humidity. So I just do that and I chill for about 15-20 minutes and um, Then I remove it So guys, I am finally giving you the tea on one of the best kinky straight clip-ins that I've ever used. These are from Curl Queens and honestly, they're 10 out of 10. My straighteners were on 230 degrees and they didn't burn, they didn't sizzle, no smoke, no nothing. The quality is 10 out of 10. So as you can see, my natural hair is a bit darker than the clip-ins, but that's okay. You can either dye it or if it doesn't bother you, you can continue as you were. So depending on the style that you're going for, you can use a lot of clippings that will give you a voluminous finish or you can use very few clippings just in areas that you feel like you want extra length like I did and it gives you a natural realistic finish as well. What I love about these clippings is that they do not irritate your scalp. My head felt light, it wasn't too heavy. They put the right amount of hair on the wefts, so it's really comfortable to wear. I will make sure that I link this all down below along with other styles that may suit your hair texture better. So as you get closer to the top of your head, you want to make sure you use smaller wefts so it gives you a natural finish. As you can see, my hair isn't blending all the way through as I have a blunt cut. But honestly, if you don't have a blunt cut and you get clip ins, it's the perfect go to style. It's so effortless and it looks so natural. 
And what I love about Curls Cream extensions is that the blend and match to your natural hair is 10 out of 10. Please bear in mind, my hair is natural. I'm not relaxed. I haven't got a keratin treatment, nothing of the sort, just heat damage. <laughs> so I can honestly say that their quality of hair is 10 out of 10. So if you happen to be in my situation where you do have a blunt cut, what you can do is actually curl your hair and curl the extensions so that you cannot see the separation or the line of demarcation where your blunt cut is. As you may notice, I'm using a different hair straightener and this is my Dyson Corral. Honestly guys, I love this for retouching my hair. It's really good because it doesn't get too hot and it doesn't cause a lot of damage at all on your hair. So definitely check it out. So for my flyaways, I use my Keracare wax stick. You can use any wax stick, just make sure you don't overdo it because you don't want to weigh down the hair. And I just used a little bit of serum just so that the extensions can have the same kind of sheen as my natural hair. So now you can see me playing around with my hair, showing you different ways in which you can style your Curl Queen's extensions. Honestly guys, this is a must have in your hair drawer because a silk press gets boring very quickly. So be sure to go in my description box and check out the links. So we are now approaching the end of this video. I just want to say a big thank you to Curls Queen for sponsoring this video. And guys, make sure you check out the clip-in extensions. They have a range of hair products that they sell on their site, but I know you want the clip-ins, so definitely check them out. And thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.